everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tyler with Black Sheep Bushcraft and Survival, and today we're going to go over some gear that we're bringing for our upcoming solo trip in the Pachog Forest. So first we're going to talk about some clothing that we're going to bring. I looked at the weather report and there's a possibility for rain, so I'm going to wear my Fall Raven pants. Just a regular t-shirt, a Carhartt flannel. I'll probably bring a hooded sweatshirt and then my Fall Raven uh, Kev jacket. It's waterproof and I absolutely love it. All right, on my person, I'm gonna carry my Bark River Aurora A2 knife. Absolutely love this knife. I have probably 10 different bushcraft style knives and this is by far my favorite one thus far. And I have my Kershaw folding knife. This is my everyday carry knife. Every time I leave the house, this is what I bring with me. First things first, I just got this pack. It's the Hidden Woodsman Day Ruck, and I absolutely love this bag. So, uh, let's get into it. All right, I got my small forest axe. I might not even bring this with me. I'm not entirely sure yet. Okay. Smogger. All right, so this is my uh, waterproof, leak-proof, airtight uh, bag. I don't even remember. I, I remember I just got it off of Amazon, but... Uh, I, this is what I keep all my food in. Also, before we get into the contents of the bag, this is my Hidden Woodsman Possibles pouch. I keep all of my camera equipment in this thing. Um, yeah, so this is a great bag. On the outside of the bag, we have our canteen and canteen cup. And if it, when it comes to gear that I bring, this and this, I never go out without it. Um, it just has everything I need between a, the ability to carry water, boil water, and my knife. I mean, I, I can basically survive with, figure everything else out, but canteen definitely always goes with me and then I keep like seasoning and Montreal steak sauce it's basically a must-have and then I got some coffee and I believe some uh, hot chocolate in there oh see look I even have a open L number nine folding knife so this is like my cooking knife that way, when I'm doing like splitting wood or anything, I, I don't, I don't have uh, food all over my knife that I'm working with. As you can see, there's little hole or little pocket or spots to put things inside these little pouches. I have my silky gomboy folding saw. absolutely love this folding saw. I have a few of them. This one by far is my favorite folder. It's small, it's lightweight, doesn't take up a lot of space. Has a little fancy holder that you can put your put in your belt loop so you can carry it. I don't ever do that, but uh, I have my 
Creature Comfort. This is my Sea to Summit uh, camp pillow, and I just you just blow it up, and it's small. You can carry it with me. Almost always take it. This is a cover for my bag in case it starts pouring down rain. I don't want all of my stuff to get all wet, so that's always in the bag. That's it on that pocket. My expedition, the expedition research, um, little camp grill. Just put it on some some rocks, and then I can grill up whatever it is that I'm gonna cook. Here is a Sea to Summit waterproof pouch. This is where I keep most of my electronics and, and whatnot. Basically, everything in this bag can get wet. It doesn't, obviously you don't want your stuff to get wet, but uh, this is the stuff that can't get wet. So I have my Petzl headlamp. External battery. This thing is amazing. You can charge your phone up like it's like 20 times or something like that. It's called the pocket juice. Charger to charge up my phone. I always keep my SAS survival guide. So when I'm out there, if I forget something, if I got some downtime or whatever, I got something that I can read. Plus, it's always could have that. Some spare batteries for my headlamp and that's about it for that. On this tri trip I plan on hammock camping so this is my hammock that I'm going to use and it's got a bug net. Uh, it's the middle of April so there's a lot of bugs out there and yeah. And then I have my tarp that I will put over it in case it rains, which I'll show you that when we get out there. And then this is another Sea to Summit bag that I use to carry extra clothing, which I don't need a lot of extra clothing. I'm only going one one day. I got a spare change of socks in here, and I think I think my sweatshirt's in here right now, but. Before I go out, I'll probably check this to make sure that I'm not packing any extra stuff. And then this is the last thing in in here is my bag that I keep all of my uh, paracord in. I probably have maybe 200 feet of paracord in this. And then from a different pack, this is my seat pad. This came from my Fall Raven uh, backpack but it, had, it comes with a seat pad, so I just put it in this so that way I have one. I can use it to fan my fires and sit down on, kneel on while I'm out there. So there's a uh, pocket for the seat pad right inside here. Oh, okay. I have my hygiene kit. I like to stay clean out there. Some wet wipes. You know what those are for. And then this is my small first aid kit that I put together from a whole bunch of first aid kits. Uh, there's, a, there's a little bit of survival stuff in here just in case. A flashlight, a folding knife, a whistle, a ferro rod, and it's just some band-aids, neosporin, uh, alcohol wipes, and a uh, survival blanket. So... Then I have this drop pouch here on the side. This drop pouch, I have a uh, Catadyne water bottle. It's got a filter in it, so you can just scoop up your water and then you can just drink straight from it. 
it's simple so that's why I like this uh, yeah. and then I have my zebra pot and then my camp spoon so we're doing this every all of my gear in here came out to about I believe 20 pounds and yeah so about 20 pounds I like to keep my my pack no more than about 20 pounds well 25 pounds with the food um, so too much food get out of here dog come here So 25 pounds in total. Uh, as I started doing all this, getting how much my uh, getting how getting my pack down as light as possible. I, I think my first trip that I ever went on, I probably was packing around like 50 pounds worth of stuff. So this is uh, some trial and error, to say the least. So. Um, oh, and I got my sleeping bag. This is a Sea to Summit uh, waterproof bag and a compression sack. Waterproof comp compression sack. And I just, you roll up your sleeping bag as small as you can get it, stuff it in here, and then you pull these down, and then it gets your sleeping bag super small. This uh, sleeping bag, I believe, is rated at... Uh, 17 degrees Fahrenheit and so it's more than enough of what I need for where I'm going so other than that that's about it that'll do it stay safe and uh, I'll see you in the woods